What is concrete? Well, simply put, it's a mixture of Portland cement, sand, gravel, and water mixed together, and then it hardens. And I mean, what more could you want to know? That's pretty awesome, right? Like, look how cool this thing is. Check it out. Check out this concrete. It's awesome. Look at that. Okay, concrete's pretty lame, but there's a bunch of redeeming qualities that I think you should know about, so let me run them through real quick and just bring you up to speed on what concrete is. Concrete is a building material. That's the primary thing that you need to know about it. We use this for construction. It is reliable, it's strong, it's predictable, it's pretty economical, and that's why we use it for that purpose. It's actually so popular for this application that we use concrete for building purposes more than any other construction material on the planet. So that alone is a pretty crazy thing. That's, we're talking skyscrapers, roads and sidewalks, and everything in between. We use it more than we use anything else. So concrete starts as individual components, cement, sand, gravel, and water, typically speaking, and on the entry level. On the advanced level, it might be a little bit more than that. You could end up with a bunch of different stuff from glass fibers to super plasticizers and liquid latex and air and trainer and all kinds of stuff to augment certain characteristics, either the finishing character characteristics or the final strength characteristics of a particular concrete mix design. But in its most simple form, concrete is simply cement, sand, gravel, and water. Water, gravel, sand, that's pretty straightforward. The cement component itself is a man-made gray powder that's calcium and aluminum and silica and clay and limestone and all of these different things powderized together that is the glue or the binder which is going to bind or glue together the sand or the gravel, the aggregates in the mix. So that's what the cement component is, that's what it does. When you mix them together, you get concrete. Now the reason why concrete is so popular, or one of the reasons why it's so popular is there's so many ways that you can augment this base recipe. Like what if we wanted this same thing but this brick needed to be the strongest brick you can imagine? There's totally things we could do. There's a half dozen or a dozen different admixtures that we could add to this, which is going to change different properties like the final strength. And there's, you're not talking about, oh, you can make it a little different. You can make it wildly different. You can do a lot of different things with engineered concrete mix designs. One of the reasons it's so popular. So the concrete starts its life as these individual components. We mix them all together. We add just enough water to reach the placement viscosity suitable for the application that we're doing. We place, we finish, we allow some time, 28 days in total for the concrete to harden. And then you have this final product that at one time was a flowable liquid plastic product and now is an entirely rigid, permanent, structural element. So what is concrete? Concrete's a building material, a darn popular one. It's very economical. We use it all the time, the world over. There's a lot of different ways you can augment or change properties of the concrete itself for unique applications. There's a lot of reasons to get to know it a little bit better and you can do so if you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I hope you found this information helpful.